Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad taste in music, and it is time for my absolute favorite list of the year to make, and that is the top 50 worst songs of 2018. Even though 2018 was a great year for music, let's be real here, there was a lot of garbage released. Which is why we're going to get into it today. Now of course because of copyright, and because I simply just want to, rather than playing the song for you, I will be trying to replicate it with my god-given singing voice. We got no honorable mentions, so without further ado, at number 50, Bazzy Mine. You so precious when you smile. Hit it from the back and drop you. What? At number 49, I took the top of the Maybach. 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 At number 48 is a song that I think we can appreciate, and that is uh, In My Feelings by Drake. Katie, are you riding? Are you with me? Say you'll never you leave me from me. inside me. The reason we can appreciate this song is simple. I can hate this song, and you can love this song, and we both would have a nice mutual understanding as to why. But I will point out the fact that I hate the sampling in this song. I think that it's really cheap. At number 47, Zet. The middle. Baby, why don't you, you just, just meet, meet me in the, the target? target? Now, if this was a list of the smartest marketing campaigns, this would be absolutely number one. The rollout and the success of this song was absolutely genius from a marketing standpoint. Basically, Target bought out a giant chunk of the Grammys last year, and they placed a three-minute song for their brand and their logo calling it The Middle. It's a track that optimizes this subliminal marketing tactic that is more effective than I've seen anyone else do ever in this style. I mean, this was just such a huge risk, but yet a huge reward for Target, considering the cost that likely went into promoting this. In one aspect, it's genius the way that they did that, but in the other aspect, I'm forever angry. F you for doing that. Come on. That's... I see through the charade. And number 46, Chainsmokers with You Owe Me. Uh, believe it or not, this is probably the best Chainsmokers song that they've released all year. So, uh, good job to them. Uh, keep, keep up the good work. Good job. Good job. And number 45, Megan Trainer with No Excuses. It would not be a worst songs of the year list without Megan Trainer. So we fit her cozily in that number 45 spot for her ripoff of Carmen's Broken Hearted, but it's just done in her own just style and fashion. What you say, bit only got you talking crazy. You must have confused me, confused me with someone else. I, I. It's pretentious, it's boring and it's miserable. And uh, at uh, number 44, we got Sam Smith featuring Logic on a song together. It, it works about as well as it sounds like it does on the surface. It starts off with this sad piano like, bah, 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 and it has Logic going, you never knew my struggle, bah, 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 bah. I had a fun to rubble, I put a bit of stuff, I, I pull a bit of shuttle. And then you got Sam Smith with the breakdown immediately afterwards. Uh, someone like you. And the contrast there is so blatantly like out of place. It's so incredibly obvious that it's just not supposed to be like that. It's an ugly train crash of a song. Hold on, wait a second. I just heard one song on the list that I need to move up much higher because Jesus freaking Christ. At number 43, we got Miss You by Cashmere Cat, Major Lazer, and Tory Lanez. So blatantly obvious that it's a marketing trick. It's just, it's frustrating. The song's not good. Like, the music itself is just not good. Oh, I'm supposed to sing a part of it. Hold on. I'm not making this up. This is what this sounds like to me. <laughs> number 42. Uh, okay. Uh, number 42. Wild Love by James Bay. Didn't know who the hell James Bay was, but this, this actually is going to get the award for the absolute worst audio effect on the vocals I've heard in a while. I miss you and blood get put down. Uh, auto tune, warbly, vibrato, chorus. It's got the whole goddamn package. This audio effect sounds like it's, it wants to be put out of its misery. 
on the light of Lego. Alone, that, that one detail lands it on this list. It's, it's that bad. At number 41, we got Girls Like You by Maroon 5 featuring Cardi B. This song, of course, is not higher just because I think that they actually improved from last year's big smash hits like uh, Don't Wanna Know and Cold Pepper. But I like, there's no emotion. It, it feels like there's no actual performance. There's no meaning to it. It's honestly one of those songs that just exists for the sake of making money. Girls like you, you remember girls like me. Like you, at number 40, we got Captain. Okay, no, all right. Uh, Captain Out of Tune by Little Mosquito. No, come on. Can we just not? put homies onto the list. Like, nobody should hear a song like this and take it seriously. They're coming for tall bad class. First of all, it's called Captain Out of Tune, and it's by Lil Mosquito Disease. Those are two obvious signs that something is wrong. And then you hear the song itself, and that should be a clear sign to you that this is not a song that should be put onto a worst songs of the year list. Like, the song is god awful but it knows that it goes so far off the deep end of terrible that there's no way in hell i could put this on the list it's an artistic statement of soundcloud garbage instead a song that actually tries too hard and ends up just being complete garbage number 40 rita ora girls featuring a bunch of girls sometimes i just want to kiss girls 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 what is this song supposed to be is it empowering to women? Uh, Same-sex, like, identity? Is it empowering to, like, the male fetish of uh, women kissing women? Uh, neither, actually. The answer is none because it fails at every single one of these. Horrifically executed, it's unlikable, everyone's performance is muddy, the production is terrible, everyone is stiff, it sounds like everyone's just dead, like they're, they're snoring into a microphone. Number 39, The King of Pain by Black Veil Brides. I hadn't heard any Black Black Veil Brides, I, I, I understand the hate. And when <laughs> this song is cringe. It's like modern day, it's not even, no, I can't even say it's like modern day Nickelback. It doesn't even feel modern. It just feels like a, a shitter version of Nickelback, which is saying a lot. That is saying so goddamn much if you don't realize. And number 38. Baby Rexa featuring Florida Georgia Line, meant to be. Now, if you remember from last year's list, this made the list two years in a goddamn row. If that doesn't tell you just how bad this song is, whoa, hold up, girl, don't you know you're beautiful? And it's easy to see if it's meant to be. And number 37, Don't Say You Love Me by Fifth Harmony. Don't say you love me when you don't call. Don't say you love me when you don't put out at all. Oh! If there was a song that just defined generic, it's this. It's so riskless, it's so trendy. Like, there's nothing likable about this. Fifth Harmony sound dead as ever. It's monotonous. It's pointless, it's frustrating, and it's definitely getting a spot. Number 36 is kind of a funny one to me. It's uh, When I Grow Up by Dimitri Vegas featuring Wiz Khalifa. Like, the song is literally just See You Again, but done poorly. I'm actually gonna break the rules. I'm just gonna play a little bit of audio. Just listen to this like I do trees. It's true if you believe. You can get anything See you what I mean? Achieve. On top of that, I hate the chorus. In fact, this song should be higher. This song is garbage. Like, actual street gutter garbage, trash, dumpster fire. Throw it in the garbage, garbage, trash, awful, holy crap. I wanna be like Wiz Khalifa when I grow up. Ah, I got a lot of cash. Number 36, yes. Duck Duck Goose by Cupcake. Uh, the only reason that this is not higher is because, well, I see the appeal. I get why people like this. But, uh, for me, allow me to replicate what my initial reaction to this song was. Uh, it, it was kind of like this, you know? Oh! Oh! God, no! Come on! 
Yeah, I don't find Cupcake's music sexy. Especially at night when your opening line was, I thought I came but I peed on the dick. I'm not making that shit up. That's the opening line to this goddamn song. Number 34 is a special case uh, specifically because Julia Michaels' Heaven. The reason why this lands a nice spicy spot on this list is actually because of the video. Uh, yes, roll the clip, please. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Mm. As you can see, this is probably the least sexy video I've seen. I spent a long time finding the absolute worst songs of the year. Let me tell you right now, I wanted some pinpoint precision on this list. So when I tell you that number 33 is Imagine Dragons Boomerang, you should know that it only goes downhill from here. And I bet you can't even imagine that because this song is just that f***ing. Bad. Boom, boom, ba da, ba, 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 boom, ba, da, boom, ba, da, I'm bad. Let you go, let you go, let you go, let you go. Definitely, there were a lot of songs I could have chosen from this album. Actually, I'd say that if I had to pick, it's probably a tie between this and zero. Hello, hello. Let me tell you what it's like to be a zero, zero. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba. Boomerang is a little more obvious. Like the lyrics are absolutely horrendous. I hate the aesthetic. The singing performance is god awful. But zero actually is here because it's catchy, and usually that's a good thing. I hate this song. I hate the fact that this song got planted into my head after seeing that Wreck-It Ralph movie. I hate the fact that this song was made for that Wreck-It Ralph movie. In fact, it was tough to disassociate the two. Let me tell you that much. Imagine Dragons have this very masculine sound and a song like Zero is probably the least masculine thing they could have ever come out with. It sounds like Chainsmokers and AJR with like some sort of grisly uh, vocal. It's, it's horrendous. And number 32, I'm not even gonna waste your time with this garbage. It's just another song that's trying to be sexy that completely fails. I got to get a lot of, I got to get a lot of, I'm making up to go. Haley Steinfeld with capital letters is unbearable. Like, what is with this freaking garbage soundtrack this year? Like, the at least the first Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack has some highlights on it. You know, it had that, that one weekend song. That was great. But at least I remember at least a couple positives from that. What the hell is this damn soundtrack this year? Like, could it get any less sexy? than this? Capital letters? Are you kidding me? The only way you can find this sexy is if you're a female virgin and if you're under the age of 15. Which you should be. Go to church. And number 31, no worst songs list is complete without the inclusion of scoop or doo Whoop a dee scoop, scoop de whoop de scoop whoop, scoop de whoop. Realistically, it is not fair to include this song on the list. I mean, it's crucial to Kanye West's lore. However, despite dropping the hottest bars of 2018, the actual reason why I don't like this song is the production. That's right. The one thing that everyone loves. I don't like. This song was a throwaway because it sounds like a throwaway. I'm, I'm not really surprised that he used this as a blueprint to troll all of us. And number 30, uh, a song that needs absolutely no explanation, and that of course is Enrique Iglesias uh, with the uh, El Baño, a song that uh, translates to the bathroom. You guys remember earlier in the video when I said that I had to move a song up? Well, here it is, this song that we just ran into again, and that, of course, is number 29, Solo, by Clean Bandit featuring Demi Lovato. Whoa, oh, God, you guys see that? Whoa, that just flew by me, but I, I swore I saw a, a trend. Whoa! Oh, I gra oh, come on. Am I really too lazy to edit this? Am I? Oh, okay. Demi Lovato and Clean Bandit come through with one of the least likable, boring, trend riding, garbage, trash, awful, stupid, dumb, lazy songs of the year. I hate the sampling. I hate the beat. I hate Demi Lovato's performance. I hate this song. At number 28, a face that is destined to show up on a worst songs list. Of course, I'm talking about 
The man himself, Lil Xan with Slope. Put a face in the pillow, I'm a ghost, Super Saiyan. Bitch, no, it's Lil Xan, and you know I'm off of Xan. Hey, I f your man, oh, damn. Ow, what I tell my whole I call that water, pour that hole, I pour. All that water, bottle, for that, where I call it. That way, well, that water, bitch. Don't waste your time listening to Lil Xan, please. At number 27, now, if you're an up and coming artist, and you decide to choose the name Rich White Man, then you're just setting yourself up for success right there. I'm of course talking about Get the Strap. Now actually, spoiler alert, this is not on my list. That's right. Now this song is god awful, and if it was on my list, it would probably be a lot higher. But the reason it's not is because I'm still trying to figure out if I should take this seriously. I mean, look at the damn cover to this thing. Listen to this song. <laughs> How do you nominate a song like this onto the worst songs list? No one listens to a song like this and is stopped in the tracks and is offended. If you call yourself Rich White Man and your cover looks like this and your song is as garbage as this, I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna say, good job, dude. Nice troll. Now, the real number 27 is actually Call Me Sir by Train. When I walk in with her, everybody calls me sir. Train manages to get worse every year by still managing to land a Travi McCoy feature in 2018. Now, you may be asking, who's Travi McCoy? That's my fucking point! No one fucking cares about Travi McCoy in 2018. Sorry, Travi, if you're watching. Yeah, no, I love you. So this next song is uh, kind of important because there are actually three songs from this artist that landed on this list, and for good reasons, and each song on this list from him kind of holds its own special spot of as to why. I'm of course talking about Hell of It by Tom McDonald. Now, Tom McDonald is... <laughs> there's, there's so much wrong with Tom McDonald's music and his persona. Tom McDonald is that guy who thinks he's smarter than everybody else, so basically he's a conscious hip-hop artist. Now, he talks about a lot of subjects like racism. So here's the idea behind Hell of It. Man, society sucks, doesn't it? I really hate Twitter. Damn, I really hate mumble rappers. I hate drugs, and honestly, I'm above people who use drugs. Have I mentioned that I'm smarter than everybody else? I think that that's also a problem. I think we need to distribute my genius across the entire globe. At number 25, Gucci Flip Flops by Bad Barbie featuring Lil Yachty. Yeah. Gucci flip flaps, give it a butt above with the sock. This a big watch, diamonds dripping off of the clock. Oh, pull up to your sister with the motherfucking Glock. Something like that. No. Stop. Stop. Next song, oh my god, seriously, some of these songs I don't even need to explain. When you got a song by 30 Seconds to Mars, yeah, I don't, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna say what song it is because it doesn't matter. Okay, fine. It's it's Madness featuring Halsey. I chose this song specifically because it had Halsey in it. I didn't even listen to any other songs. I r literally just played Russian Roulette with some, uh, with their new album because that album basically is like a gun, but every single slot has a bullet in it. This song is dog shit. Do I need an explanation? No. No. Okay, fine. This song tries to be sexy with this. You are insane. Ooh, sensual drum pattern. But the last thing this thing is is sexy. It is like gross. Halsey adds absolutely nothing to this track. Look, am I supposed to imagine these two people are in love or something? This, there's no chemistry. The aesthetic is horrendous. The song is so bad. But yet it's not as bad as number 23. I'm talking, of course, Cream by Iggy Azalea. Cash. Cash. Bag. Bag. Trash. Trash. Ass. Ass. Bad. Bad. Trash. Hook of the year. Hook of the year. I think Iggy Azalea really shows to us all why she's not allowed to drop an album. <laughs> Holy sh**. She's gonna get people bankrupt with this trash. Are you kidding me? That sh** is trash, dog. Get the f*** off the airwaves. Oh. And number 22 is gonna be NFY. Now you may be asking, why is this song on the list? I actually think NF is the example of being both rap and hip-hop 
and an attempt to make the voices stop. And it is very prevalent on his song, Why. NF mentions himself 54 different times in a three minute time span. There's 34 instances of I, eight instances of I'm, nine instances of me, and of course, three instances of myself. The dude talks about himself so excessively that it's sickening. There's nothing about this song that's good. Really. Why? I don't want to want to know I'm vulnerable. Why? Is it that when I'm in the shower, I cry? At number 21, we got another new entry. I am, of course, talking about John Bellion with Stupid Deep. Is this song Stupid Deep or Deeply Stupid? It's really, really stupid. <laughs> What the f is this breakdown, dude? That is the worst sounding sh Like, holy crap, that's bad. Like, dude, that is. Oh, why? What? What in God's name made you think that was good? This song truly is deep into the stupid, if that's what you mean. This, this decision making on this song is stupid. The, the freaking layout of this song is stupid. At number 20, we got Ice On My Wrist by Love. Okay, can we stop putting homies on the damn list? Please, nobody listens to this freaking song and takes it seriously. How is this even a contender for this list? Hey, hey. Gucci, I will order Gucci. You guys are sleeping on Lil Flex here. One day he's gonna blow up and you're really gonna you're gonna regret sleeping on this man. So yes, that's actually not number twenty. Number twenty is actually from a guy who would listen to a song like that and be like <laughs> Eminem with Venom. <laughs> You guys remember when I was saying that uh, Cream by Iggy Azalea had one of the worst hooks of the year? This is the worst hook of the year. Uh, not, not even a competition. I remember, I heard this song, I almost had nightmares about this hook. I heard it on the radio, and here's the thing. The, the, the weird thing about this song is the actual song itself outside of the hook is not terrible. I actually think Eminem pulls off a reasonable performance. I think the beat, you know, it's not good, but... Uh, at least, you know, it does an okay job. It's definitely a D tier beat. But as soon as that chorus kicks in, it is so, like, mind-bendingly god-awful. I, I really wish I could explain and express to you guys, just when I heard this, how I was just like, 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 I was like, like, how the hell do you, how are you so goddamn tone deaf? How do you hear this and record this and, and say, yep, mm, yep, oh, that's, that's fine. No, this, this is, this is, bad this is so bad jeez and that was that was only number 20 it only gets worse from here thank you guys for watching part one part two will be coming out eventually uh i have finals and stuff so i'm kind of constrained on time but thank you for watching if you like the video make sure you like hit subscribe and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace